I am uh, very excited. I am uh, really thrilled about the opportunity to join Stevens. But more importantly, I am so overwhelmed by uh, the expression of support and welcome that I'm getting from, from the community. I was amazed to see so many people come to the luncheon and then the afternoon event that we had. I, I was expecting the room to be half empty and uh, I think this is an indication of the support that uh, I'm receiving from the community. So that makes me feel more excited about uh, um, the opportunity to join this great university. Well, it uh, brings a touch of reality to the whole thing. I've been receiving emails, a lot of emails from members of the community, from students to faculty members, many, many alumni, uh, former presidents have contacted me. I've received letters also, but of course I don't know these people. And, uh, and today I had the opportunity to put a face to the name and uh, that made the experience much more real. I think I have really one main priority in the very beginning, and that is to talk to people. There's nothing more important than that. I need to speak with the community. I need to learn the culture of the place. I need to hear from them as to where they see the opportunities for Stevens. I need to hear from them what the challenges might be so that collectively we can develop a plan which is not my plan or your plan, it's going to be our plan. In some of the statements that I had made last week, I had made a lot of emphasis on my desire to work with the Stevens community to take Stevens to new heights. And it seems like the community has embraced this concept. They have picked up on this. And in many of the conversations, formal and informal, that I had today, people referred to that one statement. And uh, I consider this a very gratifying uh, reaction that I'm getting from the community. The community is telling me, we want to go with you where you think we should be headed. I want to tell you something that I have not said to many people, but uh, having uh, gone to school in upstate New York, I have uh, a lot of experience with New York City. My wife and I love New York City, and in fact we do come to New York City uh, quite frequently for uh, short trips. Uh, and we have been talking between the two of us for a long time uh, how nice it would be if we could find an opportunity to live close to New York City for an extended period of time. So that dream is coming true and uh, we are very excited about it, both of us. Uh, our daughter is a little more excited. Uh, in fact, uh, she spent her, she's a junior at Georgetown University and she spent an internship last summer in the city uh, in Manhattan and uh, she's been thinking about going to graduate school in New York. So for her, this is 7th uh, heaven. I am looking to uh, working with the community, all members of the community, uh, to form this uh, roadmap that I was talking about, this plan for where Stevens wants to go. As I said today in my remarks, I think a very good question we should ask ourselves is, what should Stevens look like on its 150th anniversary? This is a very important question. I have been thinking about it a lot. I know some members of this community have been thinking about it. I know that we probably have different ideas. So we need a coalescence of all these ideas. We need to talk about it until we agree on what Stevens should, be, should look like on its 150th anniversary. And then once we agree on that, we need to work together toward achieving the goal that we have set for ourselves. That's one thing that I think a lot, uh, think a lot about. My, my conversations have been, of course, uh, very informal, but uh, if I have heard a few relatively formal statements, they're all affirmations of some of the things I have articulated. Taking the institution to new heights, uh, strengthening uh, the programs, bringing some of the most brilliant minds to the institute, uh, enhancing the uh, uh, the research enterprise and focusing on addressing some of the most pressing societal problems. It seems like that the community is embracing all of these concepts and uh, that makes me feel very good. Uh, I've mentioned uh, some of these major societal problems. Uh, some of them are very obvious and quite frankly uh, I think about them all the time. Uh, the energy crisis that our country and the rest of the world is facing is a problem that will find its solutions in science and technology related uh, approaches. There's no question in my mind. Uh, 
issues related to cybersecurity that constitute a significant threat to our country will have uh, its solutions in technology-related approaches. The climate change will have science and technology as its key uh, approach to, uh, to the problem. Uh, problems related to food safety, uh, problems related to our uh, transportation issues. These are major societal problems that could benefit from an organized effort in an outstanding institution like Stevens. The president uh, has been speaking about uh, the role of innovation uh, in his State of the Union, but he actually started speaking about this concept uh, at the time he was campaigning for office. And of course he's amplifying the tone and he's placing more and more emphasis on this. I believe uh, this presents a very special opportunity to a university like Stevens, a university that is proud of its history of innovation and entrepreneurship. And I, uh, I am convinced that uh, a place like Stevens uh, has an opportunity to, have a, to make a significant dent in the world through its contributions uh, in innovation and entrepreneurship as applied to engineering and science-related disciplines. This is what I call Stevens, uh, Stevens's uh, strategic advantage. Uh, I actually did a little research. There is no uh, location in our country that has a larger number of Fortune 500 companies within a half-hour drive than Stevens and Hoboken, New Jersey, believe it or not. Uh, this is a very special opportunity. Many of these companies are uh, technology-focused companies. If they're not technology-focused, they have a significant reliance on technology. And therefore, by building partnerships with these places, uh, Stevens can give itself the kind of opportunity that most other universities simply cannot have. Stevens' uh, influence will go beyond just traditional science and engineering related fields and corporations, but it will have a profound influence on other industries such as medicine and healthcare, um, such as uh, finance, such as media, such as the arts. These are all disciplines that we do not think of as technology related disciplines, but in fact technology has had a a very significant influence on how these disciplines and how these fields and how these areas of business have evolved over the course of the past couple decades. Well, uh, you know, I have been at the University of Maryland for 27 years. I know that university like the back of my hand. Uh, and as a result, uh, the challenges there are relatively smaller challenges because I can either anticipate them or when the challenges come to my office, I know what the solutions are. Uh, for me, Stevens is uh, an opportunity to learn. And an opportunity to learn is an opportunity to rejuvenate. That's why I feel younger. Uh, not only do I feel energized and rejuvenated, but uh, I, uh, I cannot wait to join this community. I, I have received so many positive vibes from the community I have heard so many good things about uh, what is underway right now that I just can't wait uh, to pack up, physically come here, join the community, interact with the community, and become a, a contributor.